All right, so now that I got it sanded down and painted, I'm gonna move on to some next steps. Frame, so it should be similar to the other Mike bike because they are identical frames. And even though it's a different motor, the, the Harbor Freight motors are a clone of, of this engine, which is the GX200. I have got a brand new set of tires. I've got the rear hub and sprocket. And what's nice about these versus the first video you saw is that you can split these apart. All right, so here's the old, old bolts and spacers got some brand new bolts axle bolts but you can buy these at any hardware store and what i got here is some spacers is we're going to put spacer hub with the wheel on it and then another spacer and just kind of determine how much space i need on each side right. i'm going to split these hubs apart
Alright, so ran into a little issue when we were going to put the clutch on this Honda motor. So this shaft is not a three-quarter. This clutch is a three-quarter, but this shaft is a 20 millimeter. So the equivalent of three quarter in millimeters is 19. So I'm gonna get my dial calipers and machinist close your eyes. This is gonna be kind of your home, homemade way of reducing your motor shaft. I'm gonna use some sandpaper and a file and just gonna start the motor up and try to bring down the size so I can fit the clutch on. So, see what it does. I'm not a professional at this, but it worked and the clutch is going on good now. So now we can move on to the next step. crap out here you just saw me take it for a little spin and it just puts a smile on your face second hand at the moment so we're gonna have to cut that little piece off at the end so we can slide our throttle cable through that hole so basically it's gonna be facing that way so when you twist the throttle it's going to pull the cable that way and it's going to pull this arm that way and you can see down there that little black lever that's giving you more gas I got this tightened down on the outer coating of the cable 
I cut that piece off the end and I stuck the cable through this little block here. I tighten down that screw. So now I'm gonna twist the throttle. Bam. And we're gonna install a, a band brake. Basically, I'm going to run the negative to both lights. I'm going to make sure that it ties to both lights. You can either run two wires from this terminal if you can get them both in the, the little connector that, that attaches to this terminal. Or you can run one wire to here and put two wires in the connection here, you know, using a, a wire nut or whatever, and run it over here. And for the positive, I want to run it through the switch and then the switch to both the headlight and the tail light. Everybody, is there? Yeah. 